All right, getting ready to launch the boat in the water here. Take a nice long look at the gel coat. Let's go above the rub rail, starboard side. Go below the rub rail, starboard side. Looks like they had a different cover on at some point, so they got like snap spots. Let's go to the hull, starboard side. There was a little scratch there, but it's very, very light. Any tires on your trailer. Let's go above the rub rail, port side, you got a little bit of a stretch crack right here. Let's go below the rub rail, port side. Go down to the hole. Of course, side looks nice. Alright, I'm gonna jump in the boat and go for a ride. Alright, let's check out the bow. We've got our grab rail all the way across. We got our anchor locker stores underneath the seats. So now let's take a nice slow look. Start with the side. It came with half the bow filler cushions. This stretch your legs down up here. about the helm here. This is the place for the head, sink, light, water tank, water potty. Over here we got a table and pole, just more storage, access panel. So there's that. Right here we got a new stereo CD player. Please plug your phone. Now the 21st of August, we are slashing you can't turn the actual music on because it'll flag me on my video. Here's a release. That's how you shut her off. Take the face off. Got a little cooler right here. Go ahead and put it in the neutral. Let's do the inside. Port side. There's your chair. You got storage behind it. Final's nice there. Interior gunnel storage. The back seat here. That lifts up, your battery switches beneath it. Let's go back across the top and get to the sun pad. Sun pad's decent, a little faded. Starboard side. Got a little bit of a nick right there. Now, since 
once we fix, fix that hatch, you gotta kinda wiggle it when it goes down. Get it down all the way. But there's our dual batteries, we're switched. As you can see, it's running. I just drove it. Big torch tub over here. As you can see, there's no rust or anything. 100% fresh water tub. Alright, first thing you do before you put the boat in the water is put the plug in. Then you come back here, turn your battery switch to all. Okay? Why do you do that? The alternator is going to charge all the batteries. Why do we switch it when we're done for the day? We shut it off. Uh, if we're going to cove out, listen to the radio, switch it to one or two. From there, three things so it won't start. Click, 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 it's a dead battery. Turn the key over, nothing happens whatsoever, it's in gear. If you turn the key over, it's just turn and turn and turn and won't fire, maybe out of gas. Or the kill switch is most likely off. So otherwise, just like that, I didn't have it all the way neutral. I drove out here to get away from the boat ramp. So shifting real smooth. You just put it in gear. If there's a definitive catch for forward, neutral. Definitive catch for reverse. Okay, throttle range is beyond that. If you need to choke it or prime it, you push in the button. Like so, when it releases, you push it forward. Tilt and trim's right here. Tilt and, tilt and trim gauge does work. Let's go on and get out here. Over here, we got our power engine hatch. Right there. Right here, we got our blower. All these systems work. Build, horn, navigation light, driving at night. That's red and green built in. And the middle's off, stop the night, white light. Plugs in the back, it's in the boat over here. Docking lights up front. Trim tabs right here. Depth miner's not coming on. Trim gauge, pressure, temp, volt. We are about out of gas, but I'm just trying to run this real quick. Speedo and tack. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the Bravo 3 keeps the boat running relatively flat. Sits right on plane nicely. Missing, spitting. 